Well, let's meet the possibly the, one of the more famous functions in the whole universe, the heaviside function, beautiful in its elegance and simplicity. The heaviside function, some people call it the unit step function, simply says that the value of the function is zero if t is less than zero, and one if t is greater than or equal to zero. It's just a basic step. It's a way of describing and implementing discontinuities or modeling physical situations. Some people refer to the heaviside function at A as the function at zero until you reach A and then one at A and thereafter. One of the useful properties of the heaviside function is if you take two heaviside functions and subtract them like u of A minus u of B, it's like, it's almost like turning on and off a light switch. When you evaluate this function at any time before A, both of these are zero, and this difference is zero. If you evaluate it between A and B, the first function has turned on. Think of that as heaviside function is turning on, and the second function is not turned on yet. So 1 minus 0 is still 1. After B, both functions have been turned on, and the result of subtracting them, 1 minus 1 is 0. That's what the heaviside function is. The heaviside function is just 0 or 1. It's just a fancy way of telling someone when the value is 0 or thereafter when the value is 1. But this light switch effect of turning something on for an interval and then turning it off can be useful. For example, if I take a heavy side function at pi over 2 minus a heavy side function at 5 pi over 2 times 2 sine t, I could just expose for you a certain time a certain interval of the function 2 sine t. So until I get to pi over 2, the value of this function is 0 because both switches are off. After I get to pi over 2, the first switch is on and the second switch is still off. So I'll have 1 times 2 sine t. And on that interval starting at pi over 2, 2 sine t has the value 2. And up until 5 pi over 2, it executes one period. But at 5 pi over 2, both switches are in the on position. And so I have on minus on is 0. Essentially, I have off 0 times 2 sine t. And so the function returns to 0 value. You can define the heaviside function in your calculator by using the when clause on a TI-89, for example, or an if-then clause in another system. When x is less than 0, the value will be 0, else the value will be 1. If you store that in the variable u of x, then you have the function, the unit function in your calculator. You might have to refer to u sub 2, for example, as u of x minus 2. But the function will be stored in your calculator, and you can refer to it in graphs or differential equations. This is a very useful function.